Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, we're here again for the Crazy House World Championship candidates matches. We've got the All Dutch battle between Opel Wesen and Clearcast, and we're very yes. fortunate again to be joined by Yasser. Um, My pleasure, Justin. He's just finished good. dinner and I've just woken up. <laughs> and <laughs> we just get That's these any how we can. Yeah. Um, uh, I like the way you came on and said good morning, everyone, and I wanted to say good evening, everyone. Absolutely. <laughs> because, of course, it's 9 o'clock my time. But it'd be wonderful to be with you, Justin, here to comment on the candidates' tournament uh, crazy house. That's right. So, look, I, I thought we'd, we'd just uh, put up the uh, cross table. You know, we're probably about yeah. a minute away from starting. Um, Opel Wesson today are uh, currently coming in first based on matches completed, but he has won four out of four games. I just wanted to highlight that um, defeating 12-10-6-4, GSVC 8-2, Juan at 7-3, Plotkin 8-2. Um, there's more results to go to, but I just wanted to say he's the man to beat. Now, yes. Clearcast um, has, has only just narrowly lost two of his games, so he's down 4-6 and 4-6 against 12-10 and GSVC. So they're, they're just getting started in the background. We're going to go to the game now. And they're off. And they're off. Okay. Clear they're cast off. with the white pieces. D4, D5. Now, yeah. um, the stream is going to be on three-minute delay uh, like we normally do, and that's just to respect okay. the integrity of the matches to ensure there's no information leaking uh, from the stream Absolutely. to any of the players. and That's just standard for any match. Okay. What do you reckon yeah. here, Yasser? We've got uh, the Clearcast Fianchetto. We saw this. Yeah, this is very standard stuff, and it's, uh, well, a pretty theoretically okay. Somehow I, I, I'm, I'm very suspicious in principle of any Fianchettos, <laughs> you know, any weakening of the flank where your king is. But um, no, it's, it's become uh, a part of the common way of play right so this but this move bishop g4 that invites h3 and that's usually a useful tempo for the guy who's fiend shadowed yeah because then you can't infest on h3 and g2 so quickly I think this so I is, didn't yeah, it's quite interesting I think very much it's to be able to put the bishop on h5 and avoid g6 uh, so black probably wants to move the knight on f6 at some stage and unleash on the knight Ooh. on h4. Uh, and of course you don't really want to play g4 as white because that just no. that's inviting a whole lot of trouble. Um, I mean, in, in Crazy House we can sacrifice two pieces for the pawn without thinking um, yeah. and open up h4 and, you know, pawns come rolling Not down. Out. No, yeah. so I think that's very deliberate by Opel Wesson, but okay, knight b5 I, here. I didn't like h6 at all. Mm. I, I thought uh, castles so that you could meet a move like knight b5 with knight e8, and since there's no pawn coming off the board, uh, the threat of, of white putting a pawn in hand on h6 isn't serious yeah. whereas this is actually very an annoying this is a very annoying move to have to deal with mm -hmm. it is uh, okay. we've got um, yeah I got the feeling Opel Wesson just took his overlooked it yeah just took his eye off the board a second because you don't want to allow knight b5 I mean if rook c8 knight takes a7 if c6 knight c7 check I think he'll well, probably settle with c6 no, he's going to go Ooh. upper western mode, g5. I think bishop takes c7 is, is just fine here. Yeah. Clearcast didn't no, think it's... long. You, you can get the two pieces for the queen, but the dark weaknesses on d6, c7 is 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 concerning. Well, no, well, no it's hopeless, because if you... How do you recapture on d8? Now, keeping in mind that you, 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 you have a pawn in hand... So if I'm white, I'm thinking of putting a pawn on g7 and trapping the king. So like, I'm looking at pawn at g7. Yeah, if, if rook takes d8, pawn at g7. That's what Yas is suggesting. Rook g8, knight c7, mate. Just like that. Precisely. 
Precisely. If bishop takes, you've got knight d6 check in the mix. So you could do pawn a g7 first here still. Uh, this this is very much yeah, in favor is, for white. Um, this feels almost hopeless. Uh, I mean, it's it's really, really bad. Mm. <laughs> like, uh, I'd, I'd probably drop a pawn on g7 in this exact position, followed by knight d6 check, and I take on b7. And then I'm just threatening pawn mates with pawn to d6 and knight takes d8. So pawn to g7 right. strikes me as really decisive, actually. So I'm looking at pawn to g7, rook g8, knight d6 check, king e7, knight takes b7, rook takes g7. And then at least king f8 would be viable after pawn to d6. So he's opted not for pawn to g7, he's gone for knight d6 straight away. Hmm. Now b7 uh, has I fallen. Didn't think that that was so crunchy. I mean, it's good enough. I mean, let's face it, we're we're, we're splitting hairs here. This is a really, really, really bad position for Black. Well, I, I think uh, Clearcast may be right there because the rook is better placed on g7 to counterattack on the g file. Um, um, there's, it's, it's no, I don't think I, I, I don't think so. Just a second. Yep. So a moment ago, we could have gone pawn to g7, yep. rook g8, knight d6 yep. check, king to e7. Correct. Knight takes b7. Rook, Rook takes, takes g7. G8. Rook takes g7. Yep. Knight takes d8. Uh, knight takes d8. And I'm going to put my bishop on the diagonal. Probably with king the check. takes. Probably king takes d8. It and then okay. bishop at d6 is is still gross. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty gross. Um, yeah. Okay. So, okay. I mean, Op always not tried to get going with with the pawn on g3. Well, you got to start with a check, don't you? You check on on h2, king h1, take on f2. So you're threatening uh, knight g3. He didn't do that. No, he just went. It's for a this tough word. spot. And he's got to try to be resourceful. But you've got to look right. out for knight at g4 potentially. I think king h1 so, is right, h1. yes. Here we go. Very strong move. Very strong. I like that move a lot. Yeah. No, I, I just think black missed knight b5 instead of h6, <laughs> yes. maybe a6 at, in the opening. No, uh, no, no. Castles was perfectly that good too. there. Castles okay. was okay too. Yeah. So, okay. g3 is so a threat. He, Bishop at h4 looks, looks possible here. Um, Bishop h4 looks very strong. I also, in a kind of a funny sense, I like bishop a3 check as well. Right. Okay, okay. he decided he's going to go pawn uh, first, that's, but that's knight at g3, it. knight at g4, we got to be careful. I don't think mm -hmm. it was anything. The, the rook is pinning the f, f6 knight. Ooh, again, I thought well, he no, was oh, going no, to... No, 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 that, that's dangerous. Why is he opening the diagonal? He that, sure that's did. A, that's a very dangerous... So king g1. Or king h1. King oh, now king g1. One. I think he'll, he'll yeah. be okay. Boy, just a little wobble there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. now pawn at g3, bishop <laughs> takes g3, king h1. Yeah, I th uh, white has this. Yes. Yep, that's Oof. just... Solid win. Okay, clear cast draws first well, blood. Knight B5. Knight, knight B5. Maybe he should have played rook C8, knight takes A7 and just castled and just lost a pawn and a rook from the opening there. He was in big trouble after knight yeah, B5. Yeah, possibly. Um, yeah, knight, now, knight B5 didn't uh, look like fun. Okay. First of all, once again, a big shout out to our audience. Thank you so much for joining uh justin and i and sharing your your day as we're going through this uh crazy house candidates tournament we're doing a stream and uh we would really we ask for your support uh justin is trying a fundraiser and justin it's like the 11 11 fundraiser yeah that's <laughs> right so uh, i should have mentioned and that thanks for reminding me player. we've We've yes. got the uh, Candidates Appreciation Fund, just the uh, top right of, of yes. screen, uh, to celebrate 11 candidates in the Crazy House World Championship. 
uh, I've set the target of $1,111 uh, where if we can meet the target then uh, just uh, for, for completing the 10 matches uh, each candidate will be entitled to $101 um, <laughs> out of the pool uh, and, and you know the, the reason being that uh, you know you can always be down on your luck and it, it's to keep every candidate motivated um, exactly. A, as long as you fight hard um, all the way to the end and uh, you complete your matches, uh, that's what this is all about. Um, right. So, you know, we're, we're hopefully getting some nice content to the viewers and uh, mm -hmm. all the players are really putting together all the matches. So it's to show appreciation exactly. for that. Um, Definitely. Okay, what's going so, on here? Well, yeah, so just to say once again, thank yep. you for any... Any and everybody who uh, support the players, support the stream, and uh, support Justin because Justin, you're the guy. I mean, I'm just I'm just a bozo here in Hilton <laughs> and enjoying the games. You're 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 the guy who's waking up at you know like five a.m. Trust yeah. me when I tell you, I am not the guy who's going to be waking up at five a.m. You know, I mean, <laughs> no, that's not me. No. Uh, by the way, I'm not sure I like this move, Bishop C2. Uh, I, since the knight was coming to e4 or g4 anyway, I thought he would play knight. Uh, knight Bishop takes d7. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think uh, it was kind of in inevitable that the uh, knight was about to arrive on your doorstep. Yeah, I, I feel like e4 is is a good one to preserve. I mean, you'd rather allow g4 than e4. Okay. because of the pawn on g3 um and also that bishop is it's it's i mean when you're under fire you probably do less trades rather than more so i mean that pawn okay. on f2 looks like it's got a sting but you know i mean white kind of took a piece a bit earlier so it's all right to give the rook back um mm -hmm. i think well, i'd look at pawn at h3 here but opposition's a bit more aggressive um I, I just feel like I'd like to kick away Black's aggressive pieces. <laughs> that's that's what I'm looking at here. Um, right. But he's. I probably opt for Bishop F6 at this exact moment for right. clear cost. Bishop okay, F6. I. Okay. I lose my rook, but. Uh, hmm. Yeah, there's Bishop Maybe. F6. He's agreed with you. Um, I'm not I sure he should have, but. <laughs> But the thing is, yeah, that, that's why I like to pawn at h3. I just don't want e3 to be open. I've got no threats to take a rook on b8 or d8 with my knight because then there's another knight on e3 coming. So here, here I feel like pawn at h3, just just to remove any knight at e3 tricks that could be coming along. But uh, how are you dealing in that case with? Well, I take on on. E1. I put another pawn on F on F2. Right. Okay. So I take on E1. You presumably take with the queen, Justin. Yeah, he's gone okay. point three. I mean, he's maybe there's bishop okay. takes B2. That's bishop takes B2 can't be right. I just play bishop no, takes no, B2. I take and I put a pawn on F2 now. How yeah. will how you? And then I want to threaten queen takes C6. Sure. Knight coming to h2. I, I wonder if he's. Yeah, it's got to be queen takes. Pawn at f2. I think the queen belongs back on. Probably just back on d1. Yeah, if I put the pawn on a f2 and I get you to move your queen, I've got this rook that can go to g1 too. So I've got some kind of mating ideas here. Yeah, I think you're just a pawn short. I'm a but pawn. Here, here, Come yeah, on. so rook at g1, knight takes g1, f takes, king takes g1, and you don't have a pawn in hand to hit me with, like, pawn at f2 or pawn at h2. Gotcha. So, I think Opperwesen's just okay here. Um, oh, it's, but it's on the edge. <laughs> bishop takes b2, would that work? I'm just having a look. Okay, that, that would probably spear a rook, wouldn't it? Because I don't think you could take the bishop, because then I've got the pawn. Yeah, but I think rook at g1, knight takes g1, f takes, king takes. Are you going to play pawn at h2 or pawn at f2? I don't think either of them are fruitful. Mm -hmm. 
Because if pawn at gotcha. f2, there's king h1. And if pawn at h2, there's king f1. Okay, and that's a very, very There's good a knight point. at e3 check there, though. So that would have got the bishop on g2. The king could have run all the way to c1. But we didn't go that way. No. So that was actually a made no. threat. So if you recaptured the queen there, just for the viewers, then rook at g1 yes. check, knight takes g1, knight at h2 was a mate. But yes. Oppo was the knight. Removed yeah, the, the, the knight dangerous the knight. Yeah. Eliminated that very dangerous knight. He's played queen uh, b5. Um, I, I was busily trying to calculate something else, but uh, okay. Ooh, that way. Ooh, I didn't expect that. I, I expected the knight in hand to go to e5. Right. Yeah, and knight at e5 was solid. I mean, this is interesting because material is just about balanced here. Except, oh, no, sorry, mm -hmm. black's down a minor piece. So uh, white's got the well, upper hand. It's time, too. The time's a big, yeah, big factor. Yeah, there's, there's still we plenty of like play. That. Mm. Uh, I, th I think Black's wobbling here a bit. Okay, e6, was that good? That opens yeah. up the run on f8. There's a bishop d4 check. Oh, he didn't go for that. Yeah, Oops. I think that's just good for white. Check. That's okay. Even bishop d4 here is, is not fantastic. You can just take it. The rook takes f4 and then bishop takes f4. White's happy. Okay. White needs a queen takes d6. Looks good here. Come on, Opa Wesson. You got five seconds. Stop mucking around. All right. Well, that's a pawn. He's threatening rook g8. Rook at g8. Okay. <sighs> king, king h2. h2. Yeah, White's Don't got this one. Don't see follow up. Rook at g8. Don't king h7. Knight at g5. Bishop, bishop g. Ooh, I thought he was going to play bishop to g8. Ooh, no, this looks like mate. It does. He's got to take really it and run does. to the queen side. So queen well, takes he can six, run. But you've got to be careful back home. His time is so low. Ooh, bishop g8. Bishop g1, bishop king h1. Yeah, this is... No follow-up. This is good at attack and defense at the same time. So knight at g5, mate threat here. Queen on d6, controlling e7 and, and f8. That's that's capturable. Oh! That's, that that's makes it. Sense. That's a clincher. Things. We're done. That's a clincher. But yeah, yeah I, I think I, there, I, I would have played at, pawn at h3 much earlier than Opa Wesson. He kind of left it to the well, last I, minute to get rid of that knight on g4, and he did well. I, um, I think where black really faded there was with the move knight c4. That was just like, mm. he ended up going after b2 pawn, which was absolutely yeah. tactless and uh, pointless. Whereas if he had put the knight on e5, he would have been hitting g4. Mm -hmm. And that knight on f3 was such a, a, a key defender for, for white. Yeah, I think the knight on e5 would be more central and um, yeah, yeah, a bit more, bit more resourceful. Um, <laughs> By the way, he played a6 and not h6. There we go. <laughs> yeah, but I think, I, I think castles is actually even preferable to a6 because... Yeah. Castle's so, knight e5, knight e8 is just fine. Oh, knight e8, yeah, okay. Because no, then I'm hitting then, h4. then you're hitting h4 as well, and then you can always Which kick the knight back with tempo. Yeah, you, you, you mentioned that point, uh, that you want to hit that knight on h4 with a tempo. Yep. Okay, here I'm thinking queen d2 is rather automatic. Now you're, you're eyeballing h6 again. Okay, rook e1, rook a1 to e1, pre pre preparing e4. No, he just dropped back with his knight. All right, so he doesn't want to allow g5, it seems. Mm, yeah, you, 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 you think I, that... I, Are you really concerned about that as white? That's the question. <laughs> but uh, I, I think that uh, here he's just uh, realizing that there will be an eventual tempo against the knight on h4, right? So, kind of like get out of dodge before the gunfighter shows up. Mm. Okay. Okay. I, okay, so he parted with the bishop, but I mean, uh, you know, e takes f3. White's pretty happy if 
that yes. form gets there. It's it's a nice fortified yes. king side. I mean, I know I talked about uh, overprotection on the F3 square uh, last time, mm -hmm. which you uh, which you didn't really endorse, but uh, <laughs> if, if if it happens and it works out for you, it's it's just very solid on on both light and dark squares. You got two bishops on the king side. Yeah, so this Here is I the idea. So he's vacating h5 for the knight. That's that's the plan. Well, I just wanted to mention that before the move knight h5 was played, if white had, black had played knight c4, queen e2, knight takes b2, that's an example of what I meant about last game. Right. The knight on c4 capturing a pawn on b2 really, you know, it's, it, it, it's not a good deal. <laughs> okay, well, speaking of not a good deal... I mean, this knight's threatening a few things, but one of them is a pawn on b2, and... But e5 is much more important, right? Yeah, so you've got queen e2, but... I mean, After might... queen e2, bishop to bishop d4? Bishop at d4, bishop at d4, I think. The knight takes g3, and knight takes exactly. e5. Like, I, I like how, how Apple Wesson strategically un, un, unveiled his pieces here on the board. Um... He's done well in this uh, with Bishop D4. Uh, I think clear cast. There we go. Yes. What are we yeah, going to do think, about G3 and E5 here? Well, I'm not. I, I'm not losing G3. <laughs> I'm not losing G3. Uh, I can lose E5, but not G3. Something like King H2. Bishop takes D4. Bishop takes E5. Okay. So Bishop takes e5, sorry. Bishop d4 takes e5. f3, f4, knight f4, g f4, bishop f4. That's three pawns, which is great value. Bishop to g3. And the game goes on. But yeah. I, after knight takes g3, I'm super, super unhappy. Yeah, I think king h1, bishop takes e5, f4. Seems right. So you've got the queen h5 threat. So that right. forces a threat first. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Uh, He's holding on to everything, but there's some dark square weaknesses. Ugly. It's, it's, that was... I mean, you were you were happier with White's position earlier. This yes. just looks a little bit more ugly on the dark squares. And I think he's right. Okay. He can just do a triple... I mean, you can't do, do this in like chess, it? but here you can say we can triple our bishops on the diagonal. <laughs> that's all uh, that's really seizing the diagonal all right um i'm not 100 percent sure i was happy with that basically because of this answer knight h5 as well as knight to d3 yeah rook g8 i mean knight wow. f6 is there but you can just capture it you can sack the queen there's a bishop that can recapture on f6 you open up the g5 can i can i take on d5 justin Knight takes d5. Well, you yeah. can. And what, e6? E no. no. Uh, take on d5, take on d5. Knight d5, ed5, pawn to h7. Mm. Okay, that, no. that would keep the momentum going, wouldn't it? Yeah. In a nice way. Ooh, that's not the nice way. <laughs> no, I, I agree. I, I think if, if White runs out of steam here, he's going to be in trouble. Like if Bishop at g6 and you push the knight back. Yeah. Then, I then think knight Black's d5 would have been a, a real. Ooh. Tripling the bishops. I was telling you about yeah, this. You, you, you mentioned it already. Uh, uh, two. I'm thinking knight, knight d3, knight g4. And finally, at the risk of repeating myself, knight d5. Yeah, this knight I don't like. No, I don't like this. Queen takes this. f6. Oh, but surely mm. this, this just is like you're giving black everything. You're like the rooks yeah. and the bishops all lined up directly on the king. Um, the bishop on c5 is still covering e7. So white, white has no Fair direct threat is. here. Knight takes d5 as possible, but I just think... Black's going to get that first hit, and it's going to count. Uh, now, Rook takes uh, G2 isn't a kill shot. So he's decided he's just he's just going to stop Knight takes D5 here. That's what he's doing. Well, well, well here, what's the story after Queen A8 check? And Knight B8. Knight? Yeah, block with a Knight. And then pawn, pawn to C6? Yeah, I'll take it. 
oh, you just wow, you got nerves of steel, Justin. And then knight I'll, takes d5, cd, pawn of b7, king d7. I'm saying you got you got your queen stranded on a8. What are you doing with it? <laughs> well, I wanted to get I wanted to take a knight out of your hand, frankly. Right, but I've got. That. Yeah, I think it's Ooh. I think. Opal Wizard has just basically gone the solid path, but they're both low on time. But, 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 but what's this? What's Rook to G4? That would block... Ooh. Yeah, that, rook, that Rook should, should have been used defensively, possibly. Agreed. But, oh, this is dangerous. If you take Pawn at D7 is mating. King takes Queen at E6. F takes E6. Queen takes E6. Mate. That's a poison Knight on D5. Ooh. Good point. Uh, but I, th uh, yeah, I, I like I like black here. Pawn at e seven. Like, sure. Pawn at g, pawn at g three. Ooh, it's, it's sharp. sharp. It's, the time is running Pain low. Uh oh. Yeah, oh. that was a pre move with shortage on time. Oh. Yeah, black's black's too well defended here. Pawn oh. at h four. This is over. Yeah, it is. But I, I really admired Oppa Wesson's judgment this game because uh, yeah. he, at a time when he could have pulled a trigger, he just went, okay, I'm actually just going to cast a queenside, hold a strategic mm. edge where I'm going to lean on him. Um, and he's taken the first game as black, so that's critical. I mean, um, he's, he's broken wow. serve, right? That's the term we've <laughs> used. He sure did, and uh, did it in a pretty impressive fashion. Okay, but Clear Clearcast yeah, played very well strategically against 12-teen. We commentated on a match, um, and, and I feel like, like Opal Wesson will have to match that today with Mr. Strategic. Yeah. He just missed that knight b5 in the first game. Um, now, are you impressed by this? I, I, I play the French defense in Crazy House, and I'm never really impressed by this, because I take on e4, bishop takes knight f6, and I'm not a big... I I don't think bishop takes c6 was a big threat there because sometimes the bishop goes out to a6. Yeah, you, didn't you, play you can you can put another pawn back on d7 to cover c6 if knight exactly. e5 comes in and bishop a6 comes out. That's okay, but bishop d7 yes. is also quite solid here. I I am wondering if. Um, yeah, well, okay. wow. he's gone straight for knight e5, right? Okay, that can't... How, how can that be good? Whoa! <laughs> okay, some... Whoa! Yeah, he's, that all he, makes sense. No! You no? put the knight on c5. You put the knight on c5 in that position, because the pawn on e4 is so use. The pawn in hand is so useful. You, you put the knight on c5 and you hit the bishop, and where will it go? I'll go to f3. And then I can put a pawn on e4. Okay. Then and bishop then h5, stuff. I suppose. Yeah. And then you're going bishop b5 straight away. Something like yeah. that. I You've got to be careful because f7 can fall and I can take the queen and go knight at g5. Good point. Good I don't point. know if you yeah. want to play g6 first, but I, I think that's a game just like this one is. But okay. I, I think I maybe... Yeah, clear cast just putting a central pawn. I wouldn't pawn put the pawn on d five. Uh, yeah, now he's putting I a knight on c five. <laughs> yeah, but okay, you know, okay. If he put the knight on c five and you'd gone bishop f three, and then if he put his bishop on c six, not not chasing you to h five. You know that well. Okay, I think that White's opening advantage has has been neutralized. Well, yeah, I would have liked to see White preserve the bishop on e2. Actually, um, okay, I felt that the knight on c5 mm. is a little bit misplaced. Okay, Ooh. is that That's being? A is that aware. being? Is this necessarily or unnecessarily fancy? This is a typical Opal Wizard move. It's just like... That is... That's a very... Uh, I just had spaghetti dinner, um, <laughs> everybody, and I was about to say, that's a real uh, spicy meatball. <laughs> wow, what is Bishop H6? 
Reminds me of Walter Brown, Arthur Bisguire, U.S. Championship. It was a super move by Walter in right. a uh, Petrov defense. So what's the idea of bishop h6? Well, oh, I mean, g takes h6, knight at f6 was made, but the, I'm like, if black doesn't fall for it, then I, I don't mind knight f5. I get to play that with tempo. So I, yeah, I don't know. I, well, I'm nearly like, it, after against knight takes d3, I was nearly wondering if white should play bishop takes g7. And put a pawn and on f6. put a pawn f6. on f6. Um, that knight on d3. He's going for it. He's going to put a pawn on f6 anyway. Yeah, I, I think though as black you you were lacking space and uh, lacking pieces in hand. I mean it's not the most comfortable way to develop, but yeah, bishop takes, e takes, queen takes, knight at g4. No, he's going to sidestep and go look at rook to g8. Mm-hmm. Rook to g8. But this is, this is fine too. I think that's that's a better idea than bishop takes f6. Okay, he's really hunting down that bishop now. So do you put it's, another one on g5? What do you do here? f4. Similar idea. He wanted to hit the e5 pawn, I think. Yeah, this I is understand. tricky. I mean, you, you kind of look at pawn at g3. Well then, your pawn on g3, can he sacrifice the bishop on e5 and take on f6? And well, white has a mm. lot of white, white has a lot of uh, pieces in the hand, doesn't it? Yeah, mm. I mean, pawn on g3 though. The thing is, as safe as that is, it, it probably it limits your ability to attack. You want that pawn in hand. Um, Truly. Okay, Opal Wesson though he's letting the clock tick. By he's not. Way, he's not. He's not afraid of a few seconds on the clock. And okay, he's threatening going queen for takes h six. Knight on right. g seven is the mate. Um, bishop b five or rook g eight. What's yeah, your knee jerk? Bishop b five. I like. I would make that escape. Make that escape hatch. Ooh, he didn't do either. Okay. I thought rook g eight was was a good move. To threaten maybe rook g2, I don't know. Okay, knight at h3. So just covering knight at f4. Okay. Uh, threatening g5. But it's not really so threatened rook because if you go knight g5, bishop takes g5, queen takes g5, then it's knight at h3, check, g takes h3, knight at f3, winning the queen. So, so rook g8 is natural here. For me, uh, rook g8 and bishop b5 are screaming to be played. Yeah, there's just probably two moves screaming out. And a bishop b5 he's taking. I like bishop b5. I just I, like I just one. feel I, I want that escape hatch. Okay, the, the clock's getting critical here, though. Okay, Very. no, he's gone for the h7 pawn. That's what he's doing. Okay, how important is it, um, Justin? <sighs> I think I think it's ooh, critical ooh, actually, ooh, but but this is why it's important to have that escape cat hatch. King takes e7. Yes, King d7, he's done it, and he's he's gone ahead with it. Uh, this this bishop takes takes King d6. I think you don't want to allow knight at e5 check. King d6. Well, king d6, bishop e7 is a yeah, check. Yeah, and then king c6. We run all the way to a6. Yes. Well, knight. He, he's, oh. he's gone for it. He's gone for it. King c6. Can you run? Okay. This a6. Now a6. Counter attack. <sighs> ooh, 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 no, now's not the time to pull the trigger. E2 is covered. No, no, no. Oh. A6. A6. To, to, yeah, he should have preserved the pawn. That move. He, every pawn counts here. Um, that's Critical. just an extra pawn in white's hand. That really hurts on b6 now. I, I preferred a6 over pawn at f3. Good point. I think you're absolutely... Ooh, pawn See, to b6 that's, it's and just one b6. pawn. It's so fine, and the time pressure just got to clear cast there. Oh, what what a turnaround. Because if, the, if he didn't play pawn at f3, three. you would have... It, yes, the dark squares would have been just ever, a little bit harder to penetrate. Exactly. Ooh, Ooh, that was a big victory. Three to one now. Three to one. Oof. That could have been 2-2. Two, two.
Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know easier said than done, but uh, <laughs> I, I think I think Black's only path was to you know take on e7 and head towards b6 with the king uh, via the path that he did. Um, okay, knight a5 here. I'd be happy with Black. So uh, clear cast. I mean, he yeah he's been rattled a bit because he normally played d4, and it looks like he's just kind of quickly and automatically gone e4 I don't I don't know if it's a deliberate opening switch but he he did well um, mm. it, he, he knows that other system quite well so all right he's b4 e4 What's b5 I'm not this a big is fan original of but, whoa um, I'm happy with black here I am happy with black too I didn't like white's last two choices first of all the bishop on d5 looked very handsome, and the knight on a5 did not. <laughs> and suddenly you ch chased the ugly knight on a5 and took it. Here, bishop e6, uh, bishop in hand to e6. There you and go. I want to take on h3. That's an automatic. Yep. I would have actually just prepared with rook b8. Um, also very strong. That's uh, oh, look, look what this ooh. provoked, Justin. This is this is grim. Suddenly for black for white. Yeah, like that knight's coming to h5. You want to back that bishop to h5, open up h4, and then bring the other bishop to g4. A knight h5 looks yeah. like the move here. Um, very very strong. Black move. got I'm... white to play rook b1 without playing rook b8 himself. Um, yeah, knight h5. I like this. This is that, that pawn on h4 is critical for the position. Uh, that's just the ammo balance. Yeah, imbalance now, rather. <laughs> now the bishop on c8 is all primed and ready to go to g4. Yeah, and as you mentioning, the pawn on h4 is a juicy weakness. I just feel like this. This. Uh, yeah, this is. I don't know. Um, I, I just feel like the only, last game rattled point. clear cast a little bit because he's he's yeah. normally strategically so sound, and this one he's kind of kind of thrown in a little bit. Oh, he didn't take <laughs> f three. Uh, that's a big surprise for me. But that okay. Knight at f six is still securing Knight the pawn. F Knight at f six. Knight f four. Knight f6, you like my Funny, I was more attracted to the f4 square than I was the f6 square. And that's okay that's my as well. That's not my natural propensity to give my pieces as much free reign as possible. I'm looking at the bishop on e7, and the bishop would say, you know, come on, boss, get me into the game. <laughs> I want to go to yeah. f6. And as the boss, I'm saying, just, just hold on one move there. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. I'll get to you, and uh, I, I think the knight f4, well, first of all, there's no sacrifice. I, we're, we're splitting I think hairs, it, I think. I think yeah. knight at f6, I, no. think, I think a pawn on h5 is the problem for white. And Yeah, I think clear cast uh, realized his game was so bad that it was time to go berserk. Yeah, so rook takes f7, I mean, pawn at g6, king, rook g7 is, is nothing to worry about for black, this is... Black's up, exactly. a, black's up a piece. And he's ready to do horrible things like mm -hmm. bishop to f4, covering everything and attacking as well. Bishop f3 is on tap. Jeez. Yeah. The more I'm looking at this position, the more I'm just like, ugh. Is he preparing knight e5? Knight at f4 now. That, that just screams. Yes. It does. The difference um, now, there's no bishop on c1 to capture it. So, knight at f4 <laughs> here. Covers g6, e6. All right, Oppa's Ooh. gone for the dark squares instead. Uh, how stupid is knight e5? I guess too stupid. You got, black's got too many things in hand. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> you got to try something. I was, yeah, I was going to sacrifice my queen and for the rook on f7 and... You know, on a good day, you know, <laughs> make some thunder. 
okay, this this should be put, a put away here. Knight mm. H three. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Black has to hurry it. H takes G two is just you know, Bishop takes F three. The Knight on H four. Yes, exactly. There's no real mates with the Rook on G seven. He's just being very cautious here. By the way, that Rook on G seven is is a monster defender. Yeah, it is. Rooks and bishops <coughs> are good defenders. Knights mm -hmm. are good attackers. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, knights knights not as good as defense actually in, in a crazy house. Um, there's there's a good value in defending where you've come from as long as a straight line, whether that be diagonal or, or horizontal or vertical. There's there's more squares covered around a king. Um, and the queen is the best defender. A queen next to a king is nearly impossible to uh, yeah. to <laughs> get rid of. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, he came around to 95 ideas. I think um, the queen just the... gets taken here, though. This is too yeah. little too late. Yeah, you're just threatening mate. Yep. Nice game by Oprah yeah. Vesson there. She takes a commanding lead. Justin, this may be a very short Order broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, Wesson is the man to beat. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, he strategically, he's very solid um, with all the tactics. He's there, so... He plays yeah. very quickly. Yeah, so knight I mean, c3 covering the bishop on b5. Because the knight takes e5 trick. So here, here, this is white just kind of going, you know what, I know you want me to take that knight on f6. I just want to see what you do it. if I don't take it. <laughs> and and I, like, I, like, I like to do that sometimes. It's uh, yeah. it, Particularly if um, you have players just used to pre-moving e takes f6 and yeah. they know what they're doing. And then you suddenly do this. They're like, well, well, take my knight. I'm going to move every other piece like, on the board until you take my knight. <laughs> and then you're like, I'm not, like, I'm just not going to take it. What are you going to do? Never, never. I'll never. It's like, uh, beat me, says this, uh, the masochist of the sadist. And the sadist says, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> but here, I refuse to capture you. Here we, knight takes d5 was interesting. Uh, it was going to go knight takes d5, bishop. knight takes e5, bishop Ooh. takes d7, knight takes d7, and then I was thinking like bishop at f5. Ah. Okay, now that black has a knight in hand, knight h4 uh, moves like knight h4 uh, yeah, strike me I'd as a, appealing. Okay, knight takes e5 here. He's basically looking for light square weaknesses. So knight takes e5, bishop takes d7, knight takes d7. And then... Don't we sacrifice there? Or? Take f7. No. Oh, he's going for it. I like this I from Clearcast. I like this. He's he's saying... I, I think All right. I think I will capture, recapture on d7 with the queen here. I, I like what we're going to see here. We're going to see a game. Oh, okay. He took with the queen. All right. I think that was a good move. Really, that's, I that's do. That's a good move. I mean, knight yeah. takes f7 looks very dangerous, but it's... Uh, that's what I was afraid of, actually, yeah. It's, it's the thing I don't mind playing as black, which is like, okay, I'm the piece <laughs> up, and all I have to do here is survive, and if I can survive, I'm a piece up. Um, yeah. And it can, can put a lot of pressure on the person attacking, but yeah, um, it, it's, it's not easy to defend. Uh, How about knight h four here or is that asking too much out of the position no, knight I, h4 Ooh. this is okay so i was leaning towards bishop at c6 perhaps okay um uh, I, I like i like that diagonal yeah queen i just felt the, the pawns on g2 and b b7 were more important than where the bishop is on g6 like it's uh, just a little bit and it also blocks the diagonal where where the king is on the eight so there's there's one less trick in the future mm. i just prefer bishop on c6 than g6 here yeah I, i'm not a big uh, fan of the bishop g6 move i think that was a yeah i mean sometimes you have in chess this term you know you're carrying baggage 
Right. So it, what it means is you're carrying this mental image. Like a few moves atta- ago, White was attacking F7. Sure. And you, and, you, and, you, and you felt that that was a real sensitive point, right? <laughs> Well, if, if you look so, at if you look at black pieces, so the they're all covering moves. F seven. <laughs> yeah, your, your next three moves were all designed to protect, protect F seven. You, you, you know, black successfully frightened the bejesus out of. You. Yeah, but okay. the bishop on C six also covered D seven. That's where the hole is now. That's uh, where. Yeah. Okay, what's going on here, Justin? So. D seven like he move. wants to D seven he wants to undermine. So I'm looking at knight takes f three, pawn at D well oh, it's check, isn't it? So queen takes F three. So you you're probably looking to trade queens, but you gotta be careful. Ooh, he oh, didn't I mean yeah. This queen is a takes, big surprise. G for takes me. Knight at G two, King D one. I mean, yeah, this Is White in trouble here? Oh, I I think I, this feels like big, big, big trouble for White. Maybe uh, pawn at d7, king d8. Yes. This is no. There's no. There's no threat. Yeah, I don't mind bishop at h3, but I think ah, you, you've got e6. H- you got e6. Well, e6 is useful. Well, e6. There's knight f. Four? Hmm. Not sure. Okay. He's saying, I want your piece on G2. I'm not afraid of uh, D7. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I think he's calling his bluff here. And that's that's definitely calling something. <laughs> I mean, because oh, uh, leaving a pawn on e7 can just be so dangerous in these positions sometimes. But he's yes. he's backing himself. Ooh, see, queen c6, knight at a5. Queen, queen c4, c4 check c4, is, is in order. Oh no, knight at a5, queen oh, b5. Oh, oh. Okay. Yes. He was he had a resource. So he knight did. at e5. So if queen b5, c4. So maybe I queen b6. Yeah, I was expecting some bishop check on the diagonal. Okay. Uh, but a move ago, mm, not uh, when the no, queen. No, no, no. No, I don't like that. What? Uh, what? Well, no, bishop at a6. I mean, you, you just. No, no, no. I didn't like it. Uh, I I thought that, that, that the bishop was going to go to b5 check after e4. Uh, you know, the queen was being attacked and. He could have gone bishop b5 check, but he didn't. Now he's in trouble. White's white. Ooh, that's mate. What? It's that's mate. Knight takes c6 and queen at e8. It's mate. Oh, he just came apart there. He did. I, I thought e6 instead of uh, knight instead of the pawn at g2 idea was was mm. pretty solid. Uh, I will agree with you because five, of five to <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> but we're back to d4 here, so so I think clear cast might have a chance to to stop the bleeding. Mm. Bishop d3. Okay, but I I don't like the doubled pawns that White gets from this. They just end up being targets, and and you're really good yeah. at making me look silly whenever I try this. Um, <laughs> However, in this particular in this particular moment. I must say, I despise the fact that Black has used the tempo A6. I mean, that just looks so egregiously bad to me. Yeah, this is and funny because I think, you know, crazy house players just don't think on this level. And uh, I think that that's a big red flag for you. Um, it kind of wasn't necessary, but... You can play moves I, elsewhere that make it look useful, because <laughs> yeah. because I mean now knight b5. Like if your your knight is removed from c6, you don't want knight b knight on b5 to happen. Knight g7 to f5 just looks like the right way to go. Absolutely, I I, I couldn't agree with you uh, more. Uh, just black has no weaknesses. That's the difference. Well, well, as, especially I I I see that. White has wasted 
like his king is basically going to be in the center for the rest of the game now. Because uh, oh. you can't really go queenside anymore. That takes too long a walk. Now, this looks really bad for white. Oof. Oof. Okay, bishop at e5. Uh, Oppa Wesson's looking for something. I think queen h4 here. That just that just smells so Oppa Wesson like queen h4. I'm not even no. Why didn't he do that? He's, he's, he's got to be thinking queen h4. Oh, and knight takes e3 and, and, and queen takes e, h3, a double threat. Mm hmm. Queen h4. I agree. Yeah. I'm not even calculating. I'm just like, it looks like such an Oppa Wesson move. He's just going to play uh -huh. queen h4. Queen h4, bishop in hand to g5, stopping knight e3. Uh, yeah, we just take h3. h3. And what knight have we got as what? Knight f4? Nothing. I'm, I, queen, I'm takes, actually... queen takes f3. Ooh, can I take on h5? Oh, you could with... take on h5. Hang on, maybe I'm being too... Mm, okay, maybe that's why he's having a think about it. <laughs> well, he's definitely having a think. Ooh, what's that? Rook takes G7. Rook takes yeah, G7. G7. Knight at F6. Maybe I'm asking too much, but at this point, I'm thinking White's basically busted. So it's, you know. Well, there's Rook G2. Penny. What's, what's Rook so bad about Rook G2? Or do you then come Queen H4, and that's more effective somehow, because there's no Knight at F4. You know what? That could actually be him. Like he, he could actually be seeing that far ahead with that bishop at g5, mm -hmm. knight at f4. The bishop on h2, I can't see any mm -hmm. other purpose other than him trying to defend f4 and prepare queen h4. Right. Well, I I thought his idea was that if the rook moved, he was going to take on e3 and put a bishop on g3 check or something like that. You know what I'm right. saying? That kind of stuff. Ooh, what is that? I thought, yeah, rook takes g7. I, didn't wow. mind. Boy, uh, Black is playing some Knight very B5 makes sense. Moves. I mean, those pawns can be dangerous. There, there could be an... Ooh! Uh, oh, my. Oppa is just saying. Um, I wanted that rook, and... I got Knight it. Knight takes A8. I'm, I'm not... Not as unhappy with what knight takes a8, knight takes e3. Yes. Or could I check you on g2 first? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. You, yeah, you might be chasing the king to safety. I mean, the king wants uh, to go to b1, so. Good point. You good don't point. have to chase it. You might even right. just prefer like f takes e3, bishop takes e3 to cut off d2. Ooh. Okay, he's decided he needs some checks. Pawn at f6, maybe? I like pawn at f6. It just prevents pawn. knight takes e3. Mm. Yeah, yep. and stops queen h4-ish yeah. ideas. Yeah, and another, knight, another another pawn in hand just counts a little bit more. Yeah. You want that ammo. Oh. Gf, ef, queen takes f6, runs into knight at d7. So how yep. are you addressing pawn at f6? Exactly. We've got fire on no. but knight at g2, king d2, knight yeah. g takes e3, I think, is the way forward. Mm. No, and knight has to stay on f5. It's, it's just such a critical defender. This is actually becoming a, a sharp game. Mm. Can you take a... Ooh. Well, I was why about did to he say, do that? You, he wants a pawn in Yeah, hand that's helpful. That's helpful for white. Gives him an extra pawn. Queen f6, knight d7 is a no-go. Ooh, and Oprah... Ooh, no, oh, my gosh. Time ticking. Time. I, I, I like white here. Uh, King d2 and the King d2. The tie, King d2. The for sure. There's no way you're going to f1. Take yeah. on g1. Pawn, pawn at g7. Take on or g1. Pawn, or pawn at e7. You want to take on g1. I uh, do, I do. King f7 here. Uh, promote with a knight and then queen takes knight at e5 check and yeah no the bishop's covering f7 i i nearly feel like maybe 
Wow, he's, he's just going to show his defensive flair here. But okay, queen takes g1 is still fine. What's uh, on? Okay, queen now queen takes, takes g1 with check. check. Do that with it. Oh, that was a that's a juicy bishop to have in hand. Uh, you can take e3 even here. You, you don't have to panic because white. You got plenty. The king's now in a really good spot to, How about to be defended. F4? F no f3 f4. I thought. Oh, I thought he Just needed to keep that pawn in his hand. Uh maybe he doesn't want to open that diagonal for rook e2 in case his attack fails. Ooh, I, I don't mind pawn at f4, but. I thought Ooh, he should have just taken e3, kept the king on g5. Yeah. He's got the clock on his side. This, this, I think, I think Clearcast will bring this home. Yeah. He'll, he'll stop the bleeding here. It's still. He, he's he's good enough to bring this home. I'm going to back okay. Clearcast here. Rook at g2. <laughs> Rook at g2. Oh well, the time is also very much. Yeah. Oh, it's it. over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's flat. Nice. I mean, Oof. a what? much, much needed victory there by Clearcast. What happened there? I, I, I didn't like G oh, there was some, six. Justin, there, there, there felt like some enormous swings happened in that game. Yeah. Um, I, I think that, that pawn at F6 was good, and it just threw a real spatter in the works for Opa Wesson. Um yeah, he seemed to be in cruise control. I really felt like he had a the the game well in hand for quite some time. Right. I, I like how Black's developed here. He's just gone straight forward. Um, he's gone well. If you're gonna, I actually play <laughs> Queen takes H4 here sometimes. Believe it or not. Yes, yes, I I, uh, I I especially like it when I have a bishop in hand, so I could put a bishop on H2. Here I'm a little less convinced that it's a good sacrifice. Yeah, I know, but I, I give the queen in positions where it's... I know, just, it's just And then your, and I, I'm just saying trade. positionally it's like the double pawn on H and I'm actually going to try to limit trades. Uh, I don't even know how I'm continuing with queen takes H4. It, it's just <laughs> right. like an intuitive... Well, I'll, I'll have to see how it goes after that. So it could right. even be queen takes h4, g takes, and then knight at g6. Um, if wow. you play h5, I'll go knight h4. And I'll just wow. say black has no weaknesses, and I'm just going to chisel away <laughs> at your king side. Um, Ooh! Bishop to g6. So h3 would fall been, if he... He must have been afraid of a knight coming to h5. I thought he was going to castle. Knight at f5. He, Okay, this is, this is nice, this is nice. Strategically, I like what he's doing. Um, okay. he's, he's working out a way to get the knight off h4. He's defended e4 very nicely here. Um, yeah. But what was wrong with knight takes g6, hg, knight takes e4, then d4 fell, but... Right. I... I'm I'm not as happy with white with black having f5 e4 here. I just feel like he has control of the center. Well, as the great Bobby Fisher said, to get squares, Justin, you got to give them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I, I, I'm I'm with Bobby on this one. <laughs> okay, I'm sticking a knight on f4, just because. Those that's what you do. Squares. That's what you do. That, that's, like I've that's what played French you plenty of times, and you've always put that knight on f4. Uh, it's it's a good defender and it's a good attacker. It's like you say, it's an automatic. That's it's <laughs> an automatic. I mean, you know, you got to just go with the flow. So, by the way, big threat suddenly, knight e6, pawn to d5, white's beginning to bully. Here. Yeah, I mean, white looks very solid, but I mean. Yeah, bishop f7 is a good move. Uh, yeah, the bishop wasn't doing that much on g6 anymore, was it? It's funny, like, here is white, you're like, I'm really solid, but I can't make progress. And here is black, you're like, I can't make progress, but <laughs> I'm not under attack. And then and then you've just yeah. got to really maneuver slowly. Uh, uh, I think, I think I really... slow maneuvering is in clearcast's favor, though, I think. 
Yeah, I, I, I really didn't like the move C3 on many, many levels. The first is because I thought white should have played D5. After the knight goes to E5, say, put a knight on E6 and right. start, you know, some white square infiltration. Secondly, uh, this pawn on C3 um, weakens uh, a lot of squares. Yeah, I feel like C3, the plan is queen C2 and to undermine E4 at some stage. I would, like, knight takes F5, bishop takes E4. But You're this doesn't make as much lot. sense. I, I thought queen C2. Lot. Well, if queen C2, you yeah. had rook E8 anyway, didn't you? So. Yeah, well, here, I mean, <gasps> B3, gosh. Okay, he's planning uh, bishop B2, C4, D5. <laughs> Lots of luck with that. Um, here, I think I would be tempted by knight to G6. Uh, that knight on h4 bothers me. Mm. So trade it off. Ooh, I think he's overlooked f5. That looks like a blunder. Why did he do that? Oh, He blunders. He blunders. Bishop takes e4. and Oh, he's blundering everything. Ooh, Bishop, uh, Bishop e4. takes e4. Yeah, that was a winner, Justin. All right, I think he's going to go knight this takes e4. This is good e4, enough, yeah. but... I mean, yeah, white's just so solid here that that material's probably yeah. going to count. So we're going to see we're going to see some grinding here. So black is down a piece for a pawn. I thought bishop takes e4 was worse than this for black. Bishop takes yeah. e4, was, was but then pretty. maybe there was bishop. But hmm. this is this is very good. This is still very good for white. Like I mean, there's just so many good moves here. That's one maybe, of maybe it, yeah maybe it's a bit more tactical. All right, bishop h6. He couldn't resist. But knight well, takes. We saw uh, once before. Five. Hmm. I mean, clear cast still has a game here. Uh, Surprisingly enough, that is true. I thought he was really being. Okay, rested. material is balanced just for the second. But bishop takes d5 right. and queen knight takes. Knight h5. Queen knight takes h5? d5. Okay, knight h5. Yeah. I mean, it's it's Just, it's certainly better for white, but um, queen f7. But that's a huge, a huge tempo after pawn to g4. Pawn in hand pawn goes g4, to g4. Knight h. No, I can't go to h6. That's good. Pawn to g4. Yeah, that looks mm. really strong. Yeah, uh, he's had to sack the queen to. Preserve to something save. in the position. Yeah, but knight at h6 looks. Uh, yeah, this is takes, really takes, strong. Knight at f5. I don't know if this is the way in. Knight at g4, bishop at h8. I, I was. So that's queen g4. Queen g4 check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's done it. Pawn at g6. He's taken it. Now I can take on f8 and stick a knight on take on f5 and stick a knight on h6. Mm -hmm. That looks 97, 97. Sorry, 97. I think was stronger there, but that's okay. But yeah, this is. Uh, I mean, you look at white's, white's king and so black's solid. king. You just say, well, white can just keep rinsing and repeating. Um, exactly. And eventually, something's going to give. And this will clinch knight the knight at f8. Yeah. Upper Western style. The, the clinch is the match. Yeah, Rook just knight, knight at e6 was such a shame. That was it. Queen, queen d2. Yeah, that seals it. Clin yeah, nice. Hey. Nice win. Upper Western, 6-2. to two. Uh, We'll see the last two games played because tie breaks do count uh, if, if there's a tied score. Ah, but very Upper good. Upper Western, 5 out of 5 here. Um, very impressive. Uh, 12 team, yes. by the way. Um, he's lost to Oppo Wesson, but actually the other day he also he drew with GSVC 5 to 5. In fact, I think GSVC Ooh. had him on the ropes. Um, GSVC, oh, oh, oh. I think I'm from, from Paraguay. Um, from he, Paraguay. He's, been, he's been playing very well. Um, 
and and I think I think twelve dean was nearly just looking to survive. So so Apple Wes actually is perfect score, but now in, in a sense one and a half points ahead of twelve dean in terms of well unlost games if, if there's right. a way to because <laughs> it's round robin and we're they're playing it at, at you know we're just playing matches when we can get them. Um, well, well, well put, Justin. I I, I think that's that that that's the um that's the man who just woke up at five o'clock in the morning <laughs> yeah. what, what, what did you call it unlost games yeah he's he's winning on unlost games <laughs> yeah that's uh very good yeah that's uh, that's uh that's okay. original classic commentary here on on the john yes. lee crazy house channel all right bishop and takes that, f3 that, knight takes d4 this this that's is got over. To be worth, that's got to be worth a donation folks come on <laughs> i mean hell, i mean i've never heard that before and i've been around you know i've seen things you know what i'm saying justin <laughs> but i think but i think you understand me all the same um yeah because we, we're not playing around robin with everyone playing you know the same amount of matches at the same time so uh, that's kind of a way I, I keep it it's like how far are you from perfect um yeah. last year i was in that situation i think I, I lost one one and a half pretty early like 12 teen and Ooh. him like opal wasn't he was the one with the perfect score in fact right it was only later i drew with 12 teen and, and he only dropped half a point in the candidates in terms of matches oh. So, like, Opal Wesley right. taking taking a match off him is, is actually 12 teams' first loss in this format. Um, wow. So, it's significant. By the way, instead of the move pawn to h3, which I understand is really strong for a whole host of good reasons, I, th I was very tempted with putting a knight in the hand to e4. Right. Because... I was thinking of I want to weaken the e2, square e2, and if you take e4, I progress on f3, and I'm not losing exactly. any material exactly. in the process. I, exactly. I like knight at e4 as well. Yeah. Um, the, uh, but but the, this is just Opal Wesson style. Like, yeah. Uh, ha having your cake and eating it too. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's a good. Is that? Mm, a, yeah. Knight takes d4, queen, bishop takes d1, rook takes d1. There's some kicking going on there, yeah. Knight takes d4, bishop takes d1, knight takes f5. Yeah, yeah it oh, could have this been... Is, this is looking terrible suddenly. Yeah, I wouldn't say bishop suddenly. D I mean, I saw this, yeah. <laughs> this coming. Yeah, yeah there's been it's pretty horrible. There's been, been some cockroach infestation for some time. So if I take on e2 with the bishop, then I put the knight on f3 and the knight on h4 no, is there I, any i think i want to keep the bishop on f3 i like knight takes e2 here you i do. prefer this okay. uh if this rook takes e2 strong. then you put a knight on d4 again yes so the knight has to capture on e2 and then you're like well i keep my pin and yes uh, yeah like, but, but like black that. needs to progress here or else Ooh, you're, you're letting white that? come in. No, that's that seems right. You need some pieces. Bishop at f1. Okay. Wow. Threat in his threat is bishop f3 takes e2 and knight at f3, mate. Uh, so he had to, to take f3. with the rook or take with the rook here. And yes. But white's defending. White's defending very well. well. Very okay, well. Rook at h1, capture a1. That's the point. But Bishop at f1. No. Bishop to d1? Oh, no, queen sorry. takes e6. I think being greedy is good there. And yes, sir, you can't disagree with that. That's a pawn. No, I, no, no, no. Hey, that's a pawn. <laughs> <laughs> i, I got to take that pawn if I can. So knight to f3 to stop rook g1 check, perhaps? Oh, he's not afraid of rook g1 check in any case. Wow. Is he thinking wow. king f3? Rook at g1, king f3? Yeah. Knight running d2. Knight at d2, king g4, let's attack with the king. Yes. Uh, the so king. knight at h2, though. Knight at h2. Stop. Because if the king gets to g4, he's actually running towards safety, I think. Right. I think knight at h2 is critical, strangely. And then king e3, so you can yes. block a rookie one check. Look at that for creativity. Mm, no, that opens the diagonal to h4. 
So, do we take this one? Uh, well, if I, I, takes, I, takes, I feel like I taking it. Two? Oh, takes, I don't takes. want to play like two, no. Oh, with the queen. Oh, he took with queen. Yes, yes, yes. That's, that's the right this move. Is this is good for white. This is gorgeous. No. White knight should have enough. E6 check. No, I think, I think knight at f5. Because you want to keep e6 open for a bishop. Well, I take oh, on d8. Okay, I, you've got queen. I take yeah. on d8 yep. with the queen with check. If you run to f7. No, you're right. This This is good enough. I mean, four bishops in hand. This isn't going to end well for black. There's no, no way. There's no way. Uh, because yeah, you're right. That knight at e6 cuts off the f7 escape square, and then king f6 runs into bishop at g5. So, so this is really nice. It, it's just put every bishop on the board, and you win. Yes, exactly. You put every bishop on the board, you can. He just allowed rook at g1. Like that was but, that was cool. He didn't really think about it long either. He just went. That, you know what? That was, I, I, I haven't that checkmated was, you enough times today, and I'm going for you. That's it. That was clear, Cass. Very best victory. I mean, that was that was a jawbreaker. Yeah, <laughs> you just you just wanted to see that earlier before Oppo hasn't got the six. I mean, he might make exactly. six four. He might make six four. Um, which, by, by the way, from the cross table that you presented us with at the opening of the right. show. Uh, He's been consistent if he loses six four. Well, yeah. Clearcast is actually outgunning a lot of his rivals with a with a six three result. Exactly. I, I mean, mean twelve ten is oh, eight two eight two. I mean, there were some pretty heavy yeah. victories. Uh, Oppo going was on. in. I mean, the one the the match against GSVC, like GSVC mm -hmm. didn't play badly at all. And he still right. won like eight two, and it that was ridiculous. Like uh, yeah. he he Every, the the yeah, the yeah. the games, the the score was not a fair reflection of how tight the games were. Right. Um, yeah. That. Oh, this oh, is asking. No, oh, I would take the knight. Bishop takes, I mean, no, I would. I would have taken bishop the takes bishop a four. Off four. Yeah. Yeah, I'm no. sacking the queen. There's no way I'm allowing this. Okay. Yeah, this is over. This is terrible. This is okay. This I mean, White's got the initiative, but Bishop takes f4. I'll just rewind because it happened so fast. I agree with you. So I was looking at cb, but Bishop takes f4 is better. You just make those yeah. holes on the, the dark squares. You part the, with the queen. That's fine. Exactly. You've got places to hit on knight at h4 later. Um, now, this is terrible. To, to my eyes, Black's lost. I... I think I would have played knight e7 check on that last turn. This is probably very strong, but I like the pawn on e2. I, I, it's a wonderful okay. defender. I'm going to shock my viewers here, but I didn't actually like queen takes e5. I just thought queen d8. Oh. I, I was just going to yeah, say, well, you don't have enough pieces. Um, I, I feel like this well, is giving the queen and the pawn gets to e5. You kind of close your eyes and say... <laughs> I don't believe you. Okay, what's going on here? So knight knight seven check. Whoa, that's yeah. a surprise move. That's that looks right. Why? Um, I got a pawn on f five. I'm going to lose it if I don't move it, and I'm going to make <sighs> it useful. Right, and then you're going to put the the point was if he had taken the pawn, you would have black. White would have gone pawn to g7. Cool. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, okay. That's a very. That's a infiltration standard. mode. Yeah. Tactic. A very important one to keep it. Ooh, so what? Bishop at b6. Well, Is your knight's not defended anymore with the knight at f3 tricks. So you've, you've got I to see. cover the knight. But okay. uh, the material in balance here is just going to. Just going to tip the scales for white here. But, by the way, did you notice that he put a pawn back on E2? I did, yes, sir. Uh, and this is a yeah. concept we call overprotection of the F3 yeah. square, in case in case you've not heard of it before. <laughs> oh, I, I have, I have. Close my ears. Actually, again, I mean, I do give Nimzovich a great deal of credit for being, first of all, 
a brilliant wit. I mean, he 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 had a turn of phrase that was yep. excellent. You know, he he really did. But this overprotection, <laughs> just what a move. Did Queen you takes see H6. That? Queen takes H6. Boom. Queen takes H6. Boom. Boom. Okay. Oppo well, Wesson uh, says, ooh. look, you're not getting 6 4. You're, you're in the 7 3 oh, category. Oh, oh. Um, wow. All yeah, Dutch battle it's... and Oppo Wesson, still the man to beat here uh, on ooh, 5 out of 5. Um, mm. There was a comment in the earlier game. Um, yeah. One of the spectators was saying something like, it's looking like John versus Opa, and someone <laughs> agreeing with it. Um, i, I got to uh, say, 12-teen was overwhelmingly the big favorite, and, uh, you know, it's Opa Wesson's show now. Um, yeah. Jeez, hats off to Opa Wesson. Another great match there. I, I felt I felt Clearcast was a little bit more off-color than what we saw when he took on 12-teen. Um, yeah. He got rattled a little bit. Uh, took the first game pretty cleanly, and then Opa yeah. just went five in a row. Like yeah. you look at the score at the bottom, you're just like, "How do you do yeah. that?" Um, right. Nice. And by the way, I mean, obviously, in that uh, run of five, uh, I thought it was going to be two-two. I think yes. it was, that was a huge swing game. Was it game four? It must have been game four, where. You know, it was a, it was like the inmates broke out, <laughs> <laughs> turned the tables, and uh, Ofervesson really was impressive. Yeah, very impressive. Wow, uh, Justin, uh, I don't know if you get to go back to sleep now. <laughs> no, I don't. I actually have to take my mum in law to the airport, like right now, and so I okay. know you're you're about to get a plane tomorrow as well. But uh, I do. yes, I, I, go I, to I Louis, they have. Uh, they have a new some matches uh, starting next week. They are nine sixty matches or Bobby Fisher chess, uh, Fisher chess, and Gary Kasparov is headlining. You know, uh, uh, ten players. Uh, uh, Kasparov is playing against v- uh, Veselin Topolov, so kind of a nice. matchup. Of- okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then it's like Aronian and and the MVL and. Oh, you those know, guys are great. Aronian and MVL with the 960. But in 960. Yeah. And, and what's the time control? What's the time control? 960. Yeah, they're going to have some very interesting... They'll play rapid chess. So I think they're going to do something like... Um, right. Game 15 with like 10 second bonus or increment or delay or something. So they'll play some rapid chess and they'll play some blitz. All right, so meanwhile, while we're commentating, Opa Wizen's like, yeah, I'll just go play some one minute and I'll berserk and just have 30 seconds. And yeah, He's, he's yeah. very, very good at chess as well. He's, he's done very well in the Lee Chess titled arenas. The one, I'm not sure if you've heard of them, but Magnus Carlsen has like won six or five out of six of them or something. Like the, the Lee Chess titled arena, it's one, one minute bullet and it pulls out some of... The, the best grandmasters, I think we've had Caruana, Carlson. Um, really? I th- I'm, I'm not sure if Naroditsky is in the mix. Uh, GM Andrew Tang, of course. Um, it is brutal, like bloodshed <laughs> everywhere with, uh, you know, and, and uh, Carlson has even done some streams on Leeches. Uh, and uh, wow. it's, it's incredible to see. How he plays and, yeah. and you know the occasional mouse slip oh, and blunder is. and you're just like oh no that's happened to him as well um anyway well, thank God. okay knight takes g6 this is over on, in terms yeah. of chess we're not here to commentate on opera wesson's bullet um right i'm, I'm gonna close uh, it off well, uh, have safe travels wish you a very good uh, a good time and uh it's only a week uh, i'll be back i'm gonna be jet lagged again there and i'll that like <laughs> oh well so thanks fun and uh justin all the best till next time huh? absolutely all right thanks so much for joining we really appreciate it okay we're signing Pleasure. off everyone we'll have a great weekend wherever you are um we'll see you for the next match all right thanks yasa cheers justin cheers holy moly a big donation before i sign off john lee yasa yes. fan club donated 100 dollars so that's huge. Yeah. Just right uh, at the end, just just sneaked in. Um, so that takes so our much. that takes our donation total to two hundred and ninety-five out of eleven eleven. Um, 
Well, okay. So we got really nothing good. all stream, and someone decided to come in right at the end. Um, that, that's fantastic. Much, much appreciated. John Lee Yesa Fan Club. Thank you for the donation. Love it. Okay, we'll sign off there. Okay. <laughs> got to go get someone to the airport. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Goodbye. Bye bye.